Hi, my name is the Zen Mommy, and I help people with spiritual awakening and navigating your ascension. And I'm still just in my camera right now. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not sure if the lighting is that great, but I can never tell until I actually play the video. All right. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. If you're new today and you like my video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, it really means a lot to YouTubers when you um, like and subscribe. And uh, it helps the growth of our channels. So, um, I didn't have a particular topic right now. and But I have a, I have a list of topics on my phone and um, I'm just gonna go through the list right now and then I'll see what we're gonna do today all right non-resistant thoughts daydreaming how to deal with constant worrying paranoia and anxiety when manifesting a spiritual world a place for those who didn't fit we all suffer from conformity it's conformity. It's a mind control disease. Extremes of negative emotions is like a nuclear bomb going off in your metaphysical energy. I like that topic. We might go back to that one. Emotional discipline. Um, women are feeling, men are intellect based. Women have to get past insecurities. Men have to get past their programming. Inner child. How to manifest a toxic spouse or ex out of your life. Victim to their, to your ego. Ascension goes both ways. How to manifest home. Okay, I did that one. <laughs> Empaths and energy management. How to manifest as a couple. Um, that's a topic I want to do now that I am a couple and both of us are on this ascension journey together. It's a big deal. I want to talk more about that before I cater mostly to single women and single mothers. And now there's like this whole nother aspect of ascending in a relationship. It helps you work out a lot of things and helps you shift and try to work together to shift together. So that's a good topic. And even if you're not a couple yet, it's a good topic still because nine out of ten you end up in a couple later. But, you know, it's good to find someone who's on a journey. I mean, it makes all the difference. Before, I was like, you know, sometimes you don't find someone awake. And, but I'm going to be honest right now. It's so much easier when you find someone that's on the path with you. It's just so much easier. But, you know, it's nothing wrong with not having someone awaken. It's just that you're going to definitely be working out through some issues. And, and it's probably something that you have to manifest in order to, you know, get to a certain level of your growth or healing. Okay. So there's that. Let's see. Um, is there a heaven and a hell? Can you worship Jesus and ascend? How to be protective about your ascension. How to manifest. I did that one. Did I have that twice? Proactive, not protective. Um, I must have skipped because now I'm at how to manifest as a couple. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Two things blocking your manifestations. Worries and disbelief. That's a good topic. The paradigm shift. Minimalism. What's your take on empathy from the perspective of a 5D being? Somebody sent me that question. That's why it's wrote in that, written as a question. How can I, how can we, I get to match the vibration of what we wish to attract? Good one. The, that's actually a really good one. I'm going to do that one. <laughs> Not right now, but I'm going to do that probably the next. The biggest is never taking any. Okay, so I don't know what I wrote there. I must have missed something. I'm awake, what now? The ego likes to be higher and distant from others. The journey to enlightenment is simply the journey beyond the ego's fears. Embrace uncertainty. 
when you give up on being saved, you're saved anyway. <laughs> Spiritual elitism. Agree to lose. How to go from phony to authentic. Attention from others gives electricity to the ego. If you let go of what you think you are, then you become everything. We define what we think we are because it makes us feel safe. When you have your awakening, you're no longer protected by the safety nets of ignorance. Number one advice for spiritual awakening. Forget everything you ever learned. I actually made that video already. See, I've been working from this list. Fear is a part of the ego's prison. The journey beyond enlightenment is simply the journey beyond the ego's fears. Did we create each other? I answered that one. What does it mean when we say we shift? Raising our body's vibration for the next level of consciousness. Look at the world and be satisfied as it is. This is a good one. Um, accept your circumstances the way it is, is the way it is. You need to love someone, they say, wait, you need to love someone, they say, you love yourself. If you can't find a person that represents self-love, that person is not for you. How to find your soul group or soul family. So uh, back to that one. If you can't find a person that represents self-love, that person is not for you. This is where a lot of people miss it when it comes to relationships and love. This is why we go through all of this trauma and anxiety in a relationship, a toxic, narcissist, abusive, whatever. It all boils down to one thing. If you can't find a person that represents self-love, they're not for you. So think about that closely. Do you feel like in any way you're not good enough? Or do you feel like, um, do they make you feel good about yourself? Do they make you, make you feel, you know, they don't make you feel down, like there's something wrong, like you're not, you know, like I dated one person once. And, you know, he always picked out issues. He didn't like my speech, didn't like my weight, he didn't like anything. And to be honest, you know, I look back now, I was dating this person about two years ago, you know, right after my awakening, right after I had the baby. I was actually very, very skinny. I look back at my videos and I was so small then. And I really had someone in my head making me think I was fat. <laughs> and I look back now and it makes me so angry because I looked so good. But that goes to tell you that you have to, you can't allow your subconscious mind to be programming you based off of people's projections, manifestations, and fears. They don't love you, screw them. <laughs> they don't love you the way you are, screw them. You know what? Love yourself because once you do that, everything changes because your inner being is you and it needs to feel that connection, that love, that 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 generosity and kindness to yourself. And you when you when you are in love with yourself, it's easier to be tuned in to the spirit. Okay. How do you find your soul group or soul family or tribe? How did you come to learn this knowledge about vibrations, dimensions, and spirituality? We never lose. Um, somebody asked me that question. And I sh I'll do a video on it. But typically, um, typically, I learned a lot of it on ayahuasca. But I also, I heard things, you know, here and there. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video. Maybe, um... Um, maybe I talk to people who are, you know, on, in the journey. Um, something I've read, I've read a few things, but the truth is like a lot of stuff I heard, I didn't believe it. Like me, I was a hard sell, <laughs> especially coming from Christianity, but it really took the spirit really showing me these things. Ayahuasca showing me these things. And, um, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to like, get like a list of, text together to help people you know and refer things okay next one we never lose our demons we only learn to live above them okay number one advice okay i did already have that one you can't uh, you can't be the river to submission you must surrender to gain control that wasn't actually a topic but i talked about it in a video not everything makes sense and not everything has to so that actually makes sense <laughs> 
All right, next. Uh, not everything makes an everything. Intellect will take you far in life, but it will take you no further. <laughs> Because you can't you can't depend on the mind and the intellect. That's of this 3D realm. You know, we have a whole non-physical aspect that the intellect can't just comprehend. Um, silence your ego and your power will rise. How to recover from an affair. You know, that's a good video to do because um, I had this friend whose husband had an affair and you know they she's she said it was a one-time occurrence she worked it out with him but you know it bothers her you know it, it bothered her for a long time and I'm pretty sure occasionally it still does and you know I've been there I've been the one that had some with someone that had affairs all the time and I had to forgive them every time I never recovered though <laughs> It, it just came to the point where it just made me insanely insecure, insanely jealous, insanely questioning, insanely always wondering. And for the people who are on this journey and they have decided to work things through with their spouse that has had an affair, it's probably good to like know how to handle that because I need to make a video because although I'm not in a position where I've actually had to stay with someone well and had to not not in a position i haven't had to um i haven't ever recovered but what i can do is i can tell you the tools you need to learn as with healing from any situation and it, it's 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 gonna take a lot it's gonna be like timeline shifting you guys have to be in it together and it's not easy because you have to be ready to let go so i'll talk about that uh um, how do you feel? Okay. Can a spirit guide be a relative that has passed? Side effects to open the third. I think I already had that karma versus revenge. That's a good one. Is to manifest love in a relationship from someone who does not want you. How to defy the odds. How, is to manifest a love and a relationship from someone who does not want you. How to defy the odds. Somebody says <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> uh learned behavior can override the instincts uh claircognitive clear knowing okay we i haven't even touched all of the abilities yet on my channel um, clairvoyance claircognitive sentience clair it's a lot of clairs but these are all our natural intuitive gifts and abilities and, you know, we all have access and we all have them, but some of us have like a specialty or we're more sensitive to one thing like me. I'm more clairvoyant and um, clear cognates. I get a lot of knowings. And um, the other one, uh, clear audio, that's the sound. Now, I can be clear audio at times. Um, I'm still trying to differentiate. I'm still trying to understand that when I'm actually hearing things, rather, is it from this realm, right? Or is it from the non-physical realm? Um, I had heard a voice uh, a couple weeks ago. I mean, actually a couple months ago. Um, I woke up and I just heard someone call my name, Simone. And I looked and I was like, oh, God, I just really heard that. Or was I dreaming? But, you know, that's kind of like with Claire Cotton, you, you can hear things clearly, but it's not necessarily from, it's not from this realm. Uh, the New Age Movement, I want to talk about that because a lot of people like to label, um, you know, people on the Ascension journey as New Agers. And, you know, I feel like calling it a New Age is, um, is I think it's messed up because I think, it's not accurate, you know, just because something is new to you. I mean, you don't know what the beginning, what our ancestors, how it was then. You know, you don't. All I know that in the, all I know is our ancestors had a connection to the earth, to the planet, to the trees, to the animals. So the ancestors where I came from, from, you know, I'm indigenous to what they call America today. But. I'm uh, I'm in the indigenous bloodline of family that were here, you know, 
And those people, the original or Aboriginal Americans, they had a real connection to the spirit, to the plants, to the trees, to the, they're like the original shamans, you know, kind of like Northern America has all that rain. You know, California used to be all the rainforest. It was, the people were very in touch before the colonizers came over. Good topic. I'll do that soon. Uh, shifting into a world, a new world. Oh, I skip, skip, skip. Just a second. Uh, learn behavior, right? Quick, uh, new age movement. Okay, new age movement. How to attract a positive situation. Good one. How to change negative circumstances. Is that the same thing? Uh, shifting into a new world. <laughs> oh, this topic. I've been meaning to talk about this. Twin flame nonsense. <laughs> yep, I said it. Twin flame nonsense. I was in this group. And I have to, I want to discuss my journey with the twin flames. And I just, I was reading all the posts and I'm not going to even spoil that video. That's going to come out when it does. Uh, let's see. Wow. Love your flaws in your physical appearance. Okay. So that, this is a good one because it's very important. See, we've been all programming conditioned to not love ourselves and our flaws um, there's a program in place that we have to look a certain way, be a certain way, have our hair, you know. And so because of these programs in place and the way people have been conditioning, we're constantly trying to have this certain appearance and certain look. And even with myself, like I had finally, I finally learned to love my flaws, but, you know, I have the moments where, you know, I have a flaw, um, and, and it starts to get to me. Um, well, um, yeah, I'll go to that when I get that topic. I was about to, but I'll, I'll wait. Okay, so, um, let's see. Um, you, why you should abandon all your beliefs. Okay, I think I did that video. Self-esteem about flaws. I think that was the same one. Don't interfere with someone else's karma. That's the one story behind that that i learned when depressed do this to raise your vibration okay the illusion of separateness residual and misaligned beliefs what to expect when taking ayahuasca where to find ayahuasca why you're not manifesting relationship if you have the concept of god outside of you it is dispowers you i think that kind of it's not a full topic but i talked about this in other videos the ego leans towards dysfunction, star seeds and resonance. Why are negative, bad, and evil people in the world? I did that video recently. Surrendering expectations of others. The data that is given in any situation is infinite. I like that. <laughs> Warriors are people who think of all the variables beyond their control. Choice is an act of hesitation we make before making a decision. So choice is the act of hesitation we make before making a decision. It's the mental wobbling. And so we are always in a vivid, in a vivid, of, uh, okay, so that um, vivid of doubt and lack of confidence. So, okay, so that's, I typed something wrong. I can't remember quite what that was supposed to be. Um, sex. Sex. <laughs> sex is grounding the astral body. Hmm. I don't remember writing that topic, but let's do it. <laughs> Unconscious moments. Self-trust. Emotional discipline. Karma and reflecting negative energy. Alignment. Balance. Your true self is the self you wish to be. It's who you actually are. Maintaining harmony between our darker aspects and our positive aspects brings our personal energy into balance. How do use psychedelics? How to tell if someone is cheating? Why you should not get your child circumcised? I actually did that video. I should have uploaded that. Constantly purify yourself. Make your life sacred. Energy vampires and how to protect yourself as an empath. How to raise your vibration. The ego discomforts comes from its perpetual insecurity. Giving it things doesn't make it secure. It only distracts it. 
So how to disengage from negativity, energy management, the one true church self, the one true church self. Uh, sometimes I add things like, I might have seen a quote somewhere and I'll be like, that quote will be a good topic and I'll add a quote. In the matrix, in the matrix, out of matrix, I cannot tell I did that. Why psychedelics are important. What's like being out of body? What is like being out of body? Imaginations, visions, messy or cluttered living space, some feng shui, belief systems. I'm going faster. I didn't realize this is 20 minutes. The almost relationship. Rituals that are they and why they are important. R rituals. What are they and why are they important? Children and the law of attraction. How to teach your kids about awakening. Insecurities and projections. Tip, tip. Manifest in love. Manifest someone who loves you the way you are. How to manifest weight loss. How to use a pendulum. How to use tarot. Spirit guide communication. How to develop your intuition. Body consciousness. Now, that I really want to talk about because, because the next title, Parasites, Cleanse, and Third Eye. Um, depression, Dark Night of the Soul. How to manifest weight loss. Worship energy. Holy Ghost um, that's a topic because, you know, coming from religion, like the one thing, the only thing that convinced me to even believe in religion was the whole, about the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost experience. And so that, it took me a while to understand what was I actually experiencing. Cause that, that's why it was a hard sell because, you know, once you feel the spirit like that, you think that, oh, there's no other place to get this. But the truth is, I've had a, a, a stronger, better connection on ayahuasca when I went out of body and uh, when I felt like I merged in with my true source, higher self. And that experience with the Holy Ghost is like, it's something that, you know, I really needed to understand that to help me let go of Christianity. Like, why is it like that? Why does, you know, when you're in there, the preaching be sounding so good, the people be shouting and stuff, gotta be real, right? Well, the truth is everything that you believe in is real to you. So although I don't believe in the Bible or Jesus or, or I don't follow those, you know, those teachings, I personally don't think you need a third party to intervene between you and God because you and God are one. And anybody on this journey pretty much knows that. Okay, uh, religion and belief systems, overactive third eye, the educated fool. Who is a creator? What is a creator? I did that one, didn't I? I asked how to embrace it. Maybe I need to do what is for those people who wonder. Relationships during awakening, visions, past life regression. I do owe a visions video because I had once a topic for dreams and visions. And I remember that visions video. Um, I, t I said I would separate it because I did the dreams and I said I'll come back and do visions. And I, and I need to do that because visions is, um, is all about third eye activity. Okay, so that's very important. Past life regression. I did that third eye awakening. Oh no, 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 I lost my place. Okay, but um how to open your third eye, grounding chakras, positive focus for focus versus shadow work. I did that timelines, aspects of people, ascension energy up there. We'll go faster. <laughs> how to let go of a narcissist, how to deal with difficult people in your life. I already did that. How to develop psychic abilities, I can do that. How to read people, and I should add how to read vibrations. I want to do a video on that. Tarot and Oracle cards, uh, PTSD in the sh um, shadow and source, and then source energy. But PTSD is important. I want to talk about that because a lot of us went through traumatic things. And even though we're on this ascension journey, sometimes the old program emerges and we got to deal with that. Holistic healing techniques, holistic healing topics, crystal, holy ghost, filling the spirit. I already had mentioned that. Sometimes I forget that I put it on the list and I'll add it again. How to attract the narcissist, how to not attract the narcissist. Quick tip on manifesting money. Know the amount of fear, desire, greed, comfort, and ego. Mental blocks and conditioning the mind. Oh my God, this list goes on forever. I need to be doing videos like every second of the day. Uh, the subconscious mind is the most powerful of all. The brain responds to symbols and metaphors for more than anything. Function of the shadow is to represent the opposite side of the ego. Mirror reflections, karma, projecting. If people observe their own unconscious tendencies in other people, 
This is called projection. Third eye position. Third eye exercises. When they put floor, why they put the floor right in the water? They did that. Imagination, negativity is the contradiction to the ego's opinion. How do you know your spirit guides are communicating with you? Okay, so this is my list. And keep that saved. And I don't know. I just, I didn't really know what to talk about right now. And that's what I usually do is go through the topics before I turn on the camera. But today I just decided, you know what? I'm going to share all the topics I have so you can have an idea what's coming. And I'm going to really try to start really t working on these topics. Sometimes I feel like, no, I'm not ready to talk about it. I need to learn more. I need to know more. I need to connect more. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, before, remember when I used to have the topic jar? And I would put all my topics in a jar and I would just pick one. So I'm going to put these topics in a jar. I'm going to go back to doing that. So that way it's more of a more of me leaning on my spirit, accessing my higher self to get the message I need about the particular topic. And the thing is, even though I might feel like I need more information, maybe I don't know enough, I'm going to talk about it anyway from my perspective and what I think. And as I learn more and as I grow, what I'll do is I'll update the videos with new information I learned so you can see the journey and how, because during this ascension and awakening, when you first awaken, it, your growth spurts up so fast as spiritual growth you learn so much and you may believe one way before and then at the end you're like uh, not the end but like maybe a year later you're looking at total different things you realize your purpose is changing the things that make you happy is changing your mission is changing you're shifting and it's always some changes and why did i just lose my train of thought right there oh okay so do the little topic jar, pick the topics, and I'm, I'm just going to roll with that. And um, I'm very thankful to, to have my channel. And I'm thankful to be here. And thank you guys for watching. Peace and love. Namaste.